If your focus right now is on the customer experience, my question to you is, have you been able to leverage all of the different channels through different stages of the buying cycle? Now, it's going to depend on the customer type. It's going to depend on the industry type. It's going to depend on which channels you specifically use. But we're just going to go ahead and use this as an example and kind of walk through this one by one. So let's say the prop value proposition is I'm looking for a new lifestyle and <clears throat> I'm actually going to buy a home, right? So the product is the home, the product of the product is the lifestyle. That is our value proposition. So if I'm going to find out about a home face-to-face, -face, that's kind of where we are here is face-to-face, -face, I'm probably going to find out that by an open house. Or maybe I'm going to find out from a friend of mine through word of mouth. So if I'm a real estate agent and I'm trying to sell my house, I'm going to try to figure out how to maximize the awareness in those face-to-face -face, um, meetings, right? So where, awareness over the phone uh, would be prospecting, like you'd be typically used used to uh, dialing, um, whether the buyer calls calls the agent or the agent calls the buyer. Could be either either one. Could be responding to a sign call. Uh, <clears throat> the awareness by email. Or maybe it was a newsletter. Or it was an autoresponder that you you, know, you typed in your email address and you and you received a series of, of emails that kind of led up to the interest. Um, next thing is the website. So maybe the, even in the awareness side of it, you have an online property portal. Now, if you're an agent or you're a broker, you're probably looking at this and saying, "Well, gosh, you know, we already do this, and that's great." Well. <clears throat> My question to you now is, is, we'll focus on the customer. What's the customer preferred method? And that's where you start to optimize specifically. Uh, this is just social media. So you can put, you know, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Okay. Now, on the conversion side of the face-to-face -face is them actually signing the contract. Now, when you go on that, that appointment, whether it doesn't necessarily have to be in person. It can also be screen-to-screen. -screen. So if you're in a situation where you don't have access to the customer, um, you're running out of time in the day, or they live on the other side of town, or they live in another country, you're probably going to want to look at how to be able to convert them using web conferencing. Um, because you can do it over the phone. So this would just be a phone appointment. And then email conversion. I'm going to say that's, that's almost nearly impossible to be able to convert somebody, depending on the, the type of product. But um, again, um, we're focusing on this section on, on, on home buyers. Um, through the website, yeah, that's not going to happen. And social, that's not going to happen. Could you potentially send a contract through Facebook Instant Messenger? Sure you could, but what I would ask is, well, what does the customer want? If that's what they want, well, let's figure out the process around that. Now, the adoption is of them actually following through with the contract and using the product you know, throughout its lifestyle. So maybe there's situations where somebody actually buys something, like you buy a book, but you don't read it. Um, and chances are, if you don't read that book, the next book that comes out by the same author, you're probably not going to go out and buy that book because, you, what, you didn't read the first book. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> on the adoption is actually that face-to-face -face is when the property goes to escrow. Over the phone, that's not going to happen. Or maybe they tell you over the phone that they moved in. Um, they might tell you by email. <clears throat> Maybe they contact you through live chat. Now, as I'm going through some of these things, you know, you're going to have different answers, you know, for different situations. And that's part of your leadership team is to figure out, okay, what do we want to be able to focus in on? Now, measuring the ROI of somebody actually buying the home usually comes in the form of a testimonial. So, Maybe when we're face to face with them next time, we can have we can record a video of them talking. Uh, maybe it's a 
maybe they can actually say it right into the phone, which we have as a recorded message. Uh, some, some of the new email software allows you to transcribe. Maybe it's a, maybe they just email the testimonial to you. Uh, for the website, you would actually put the testimonial on the website that they give you. And then in social, it obviously you have different shares of the customer talking about how great the experience was working with them on different social media channels. Now, <clears throat> part of your homework assignment is to um, maybe uh, download this template, watch this video step by step, and then start to work with your group, whether you decide to print off this, this template or you decide to use it using a, a whiteboard app. Um, this becomes the way to focus on what the customer wants at different stages of the cycle so that way you can improve that experience overall for them.